What's up? Hey. So, it's been a long time and I am looking rough. But um, we are about to show you what we get up to today. It's Sunday and we're all together. We're about to take one to work. Um, so, yeah. I've actually got some hair to do today. So, I'm going ahead and I'm going to go ahead and drop the one off to work and um, then show you when we get to my clients. I'm probably not going to film that. But um, I'm doing two sew-ins today. So I'm going to do her sew-in. And then I'm going to do my daughter's sew-in. Because her birthday's coming up. And But I'll show y'all that. I mean, so it'll kind of be showing you what we do today. But also kind of like a hair video too. So um, if you do want to see how I do long hair braid down for sew-in. Keep watching on that. Okay, so let me go ahead and... Get my car cranked up and go. All right. Bye. What y'all should know is we haven't been recording because it's harder than what it looks. When I say harder than what it looks, you be like, you don't know when to film, what to film, uh, what to say. Well, there will be a birthday vlog coming. No. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely, we'll do that. So, like, let's just say, can you focus on the camera? Let's just say that I'm gonna. Not the battery. I'm just gonna say it like this. Whenever I said we was gonna be posting on Sundays and Wednesdays, Wednesdays, scratch that. We're just gonna post whenever we decide to post. That's too much pressure. That's too many videos. And we're not like professional YouTubers. We're just documenting our life and posting on something so it doesn't fill our phone up with videos. Family videos. So, um, that's the reason why we haven't been posting because it's just not as easy as it seems to be posting or videoing yourself as you're living your life. So, yeah. Anyway, um, come with us. All right. The girls are gonna sit in the car and I'm running in real quick to a hair store which will be the second time I went to the hair store today I'm going in to get a flat iron because the flat iron I got right now is just not acceptable yeah it's not acceptable so I'm going in to get a flat iron it's hard to execute a hairstyle and your flat iron is weak I'm telling you Ugh, the life. Okay, so I am in the hair store. <sighs> but I'm trying to find something that's gonna work. A flat iron. My budget is not to go over fifty dollars. Now maybe that's the problem. Me trying to be cheap. And they don't really got that many options to choose from don't look like. I'm about to talk to these people real quick. Okay, so this is what I'm looking at right now. A line of flat irons. But the problem is, I don't think these are any good. I might need to go online and find something. They had something behind the counter, but it was like a hundred and something dollars. Oh, there's some back here too. Let me see. Oh, that's one thirty nine. They just got the box. That's thirty six dollars. Oh, we'll see. Okay, so um, what I'm gonna do tonight is um. I'm going to do uh, another sew-in, uh, a middle part sew-in. The one that I just did was a side part sew-in. 
it was like a deep side part it really looked good I'm working on my execution with that because sometimes it's not enough to just do a great install you need to know how to like finish the job so I'm really working on completing it she what why you want to get a middle part though okay anyway our hair is already really really long so it's going to be interesting but I need to do this because Avery's hair is very long too side part but it doesn't matter I need to know know how to do your braid down right like yeah so it's Erica's first sewing anyway I'm talking too much I'll see you in just a minute Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and record this. I'm showing you that I'm going to put some oil on her, on Erica's hair. It's Talia Wajid Healing Oil. Yeah, so I want to go ahead and get that put on her hair. So that way it's moisturized. As you can, and I'm just pulling it through all of her hair. You can see how much hair she has. She has a lot of hair. A lot. And it's very long. But she's determined to get bundles installed in her hair. This was a challenge for me because her hair is so long. So I was trying to figure out how much leave out I was going to give her. I could left out as much hair as I wanted to because I wouldn't I wouldn't have any problem with blending. A lot of people they want minimal leave out. They're saying it's because to protect their hair and not have to flat out their hair, not have to put heat on their hair as much. So they like to have minimal leave out. But what they also forget about the benefit of minimal leave out is that if your hair texture is different than the hair you're installing then it's easier to blend a minimal leave out than it is a whole bunch of hair um, especially if you're natural and your hair texture is different than the, the bundles that you're getting sewed in it's uh it's easier for your hair to poof up poof up and not look as uh, blended so minimal leave out that's the, that's in my in my opinion the real reason why um, people need minimal leave out not just about the flat ironing because you can maintain your hair um, without having to flat iron it all the time um, with the leave out but I do understand people don't like to use heat too which is why people like to use uh, frontals and um, they like to use the, the, I can't think of it, you know what I mean, the lace closures and stuff like that. So, like I said, I'm just parting through her hair and in my brain I'm thinking, how am I going to braid all this hair down and it not look bulky? because she's going to be having some long braids. So, instead of talking all the way through this, I'm going to go ahead and just uh, speed this up a little bit and let you just uh, watch what's going on.
Okay, so I know that I'm doing a voiceover on this. It's late, but it may not look like it, but this is pretty, pretty flat. And you don't can imagine how much thread and needles I used. So to kind of finish this off without having to keep threading and threading and threading, I am just going to use this crochet needle and get these last few ends in. Find a way just to crochet these in sync with what I got so that way it'll be flat. So um, I'll be right back and then I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so this is about as flat as we are going to get her hair. Mind you, she's got long hair. How can I really show that? Let's see if I can see it. That's just the top of her hair. And the breast is just even longer than that. So it took a lot to get this young lady's hair so down so she can get, uh, where's the first pack in here? Oh, long bundles in her head. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish it off with um, uh, speeding up the video and, and then coming back and showing you the end result when we're done. Okay? Okay, so it is very late. Extremely. It's like morning. It's so late and I'm so sleepy. But I had to do Erica's hair because her birthday is coming up on Tuesday. So I did her hair and I think she's pretty much happy with the style. We'll do like an official look. But Erica, if you walk in here... Um, well, this is the look for tonight. <laughs> That's the install in a ponytail right now. And um, she's happy. Right, Erica? Yeah. Okay, so saying that to say, thank you for watching us today. I know we didn't do much, or it may not seem like we did much, but I am beat. I am tired. I'm so tired, I'm not even going. I'm sleeping right here on this couch because I got to jump up first thing in the morning to go to do some more hair anyway thank you for watching this video we're gonna end this video out showing you pictures of erica sewing and how that turned out um and of course uh obviously i think i did the voiceover on braiding her hair and i also tell you the difficulties that i faced can you come turn off the kitchen light in that light i'll let you guys know the difficulty that i faced um, braiding hair that is how long does how long does your hair goes past your very long hair very long hair it's like almost just as long as the hair we put in if it's straight iron taking off several inches so thank you for watching the video again and um, yeah I hope you enjoy the photos bye <laughs>